truth. The truth of who you are, because you who you are, the meaning of your personhood isn't in what other people say. Isn't in what other people think. The very deepest meaning of your of your existence is that you're a son and you're a daughter of God most high. Amen. 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 And nothing, that's your dignity. Nothing can and will be able to take that away from you if you own it and if you believe in it. As you believe, says Jesus, let it be. As you believe. Very important. When you know the truth, the truth will set you free. free. This is freedom. This is true freedom. When Jesus set the, the, the blind man free, when he set the beggar free, then comes the responsibility if I'm, a, if I'm a crippled person all of a sudden I'm not a beggar and all of a sudden I have to take responsibility for my life he either returns or what am I going to work as uh oh I better go back and be a cripple or I better go back and become blind because all of a sudden I've got responsibility for my freedom what am I going to do with my freedom what are you going to do with your freedom Bring it into the kingdom of God and use it for the kingdom of God or nothing. Don't sit on the fence, as your saying says, because the devil owns the fence. <laughs> so the only reason that my emotions are contrary to the truth is because I am double-minded and holding an opposing belief at my experiential level. If you experience yourself as being garbage and you're very hard, you cannot will it. You cannot will, okay, I'm going to believe. Revelation, Christianity, is a, is a religion of grace. Sheer gift. Salvation is sheer gift. It's a grace that comes upon you. But when you're baptised, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you as sons and daughters of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Not as pagans. And the Lord wants to purify our experience. That's why it's very important that we encounter Jesus. And the way that he's going to reveal himself to you, it's going to be a surprise, as Benedict has said, I read it early on. The most beautiful thing is to be surprised by the encounter with Jesus. And it changes your life. So the Holy Spirit... The Holy, oh, sorry, I missed a couple of the Holy Spirit is refining, is purifying our faith belief. You believe in God? Yes. yes. So does the devil. Yes. You believe Jesus is risen from the dead? Yes. So does the devil. You believe in the Trinity? Yes. So does the devil. Did you know that? Yes. He believes all that stuff too. He believes in all that the church teaches, but he hates it. He believes in a chaste life. He believes that we're teaching a chaste life, but he hates the chaste life. He hates that. So the Holy Spirit, the letters of the Apostle, often speak of the unavoidable testing of our faith, our belief. The word that is commonly translated faith is pistos in Greek, which basically means belief. What do you believe in? God. It's happened to the devil. What do you really believe in? The personal love of God the Father for Brian. Revealed in his son Jesus Christ. Experienced through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. That's what I believe in. That's the grounding, the foundation of my whole life, my whole existence. If our faith needs to be tested, it implies that something is not yet perfect in what we believe. If we examine our belief system, and all of us have a belief system, it will be obvious that not all that we hold is truth. In the world today, it says, well, I have my own personal truth, but that's good for you. You heard of that? That's your personal truth, which is a lie. There's a universal truth, and that is God is. God is truth. God is compassionate. God has sent his one and only beloved son, who also is God in the flesh the second person of the Holy Trinity. So we need to be confronting that lie that perhaps can be in it, in that there's a bit of a mistake here, the Word says. This is what the Word says. This is what the world says. It should be world there, not word. 
So we need to be looking inside ourselves and seeing what teaching we have received from our secular media or from our families, our culture, our subcultures. Come to me, all you who labor and who are heavy.